Hello y'all. Welcome to part 25 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 24 we annex the United Baltic Duchy, Persia, well that's not Persia, well one of the states of what was Persia, there we are, Sistan, that was part of Persia, Brazil, we took over Brazil, and Panama. And so we're going to continue our mission for World Conquest here in Part 25. We are invading Central America, so let's unpause. We have a lot of wars going on. We're fighting everyone at once. We're advancing into Russia as well as Afghanistan. I may need to get some more divisions moved over there. And we're also trying to advance right now into Arabia. We're fighting Muscat as well as Yemen. We just need to capture a few cities here to win this conflict in Arabia. Then once we're done, we'll send the 12th Army, who is doing the bulk of the fighting here, down to Africa to help our advance there. And they should... Okay, Muscat has been defeated. They have capitulated. And let's take all their states and add it to our own territory. To our own... Yeah, just in turn. That is done. So that's... Only Yemen is left standing in the... Standing in Arabia. Last country we had to defeat... Where's the front line at here? Move front line down here, get closer to Yemen's core territory, then overrun that, and that should be over with, that conflict anyway. We have tons and tons of factories. We've got to put to use for something, I guess. What can we get? Get Strategic Bomber 2. Do we have... We have nuclear bombs, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we should, yeah. Can I drop nuclear bombs? We have the nukes. Don't we? Yes. Hmm. We need air superiority, though. Shouldn't be too hard for us to achieve. I need to use those nukes eventually. We got like seven nukes ages ago from one of our focuses. And we have some garrison divisions here. Give them to the 4th Army, which does nothing but garrison everything. Let's stop. What, what can we do with all these factories? Let's improve railways in Russia. That'd be a good idea, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea probably probably just improve all that so we our troops can just move around better and not be affected hopefully as bad by attrition unassigned divisions here 46 infantry divisions way too many of them just add them to the 23rd army who is advancing where are they advancing oh they're moving into asia and more unassigned divisions just give them to the 23rd army let's unpause though and continue our push and we're advancing into Guatemala. We had some troops getting circled. Great, that's kind of awkward, but whatever. Just advance. Take all the territory you can get. Move into El Salvador and more of Nicaragua. There we go. We just finished researching atomic research. Now let's get nuclear reactor. We just finished researching atomic research. Now we're getting nuclear reactor. More divisions are ready. They're garrison troops. Send them to the garrison army. Let's actually... We can use these nukes we have for something. Let's get some strategic, I guess, strategic, I don't know. Let's get air superiority in Africa, though. Well, in West Africa. Let's get some fighters up, with that said. So it gets about three squadrons of fighters up in the air. And let's get some strategic bombers here as well. Where are they at? Strategic bombers. Where are they? Okay, we have 100 strategic bombers. The Kingdom of Finland just capitulated. We were invading them. But let's get those strategic bombers moved, though. Pass here. Let's take all this land that belonged to Finland. And now let's end the peace conference. And we now control Finland. And we're basically done in Europe for the most part at this point. We have a little invasion going on in England, which is a problem. But we'll send some troops back to deal with that, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We could just have the... Let's have the 21st Army just take a bit of Russia, then send them down to... Send them over to England to try and push back some enemy invasions there. Some Yeah, just push back the enemy troops in that on the island of Britain. Set this up, though, first, and start that order. That is done. And we have a naval invasion in France, it looks like. That is a little bit of a problem, but okay. Get some garrison troops here. And they're now doing something. We have... What can these guys do? These people, they have no orders. The 19th Army has no orders. Let's send the 19th Army to go fight this naval invasion here. This attempt to attack us in France from the Entente faction. 
It looks like the Australasian Confederation is trying to make moves there. So let's go make sure they don't make much progress. That's going to be done. We also have some enemy troops in the Congo Freestadt hanging out in Sweden. They're just sort of there. How is naval, I mean, the air superiority going in West Africa? We need more fighters, don't we? What is the deal here? Oh, we need more. Okay, so you strategic bombing so far for now with the strategic bombers. Let's get together more fighters. Get that done. We just have tons of stuff in the reserves because we've conquered so many places. So just get actually nothing but fighters. Well, get one squadron of close air support. We'll do that. And the reason why I'm doing all this is I want to have a nuclear bomb detonated in West Africa in this playthrough because... Frankly, that front has been a little static, and we haven't been making much progress, despite how powerful we are. I guess it's just due to the terrain and lack of air support. I don't know. But let's get some planes together here. So I might think Turkish close air support, some German close air support also. Maybe. Almost done. A few more planes there. Deploy all of them. And they're going to back up the naval, I mean, strategic bombers. Send one more squadron of fighters into Africa. Oh, hold on, I gotta fix it. These are German planes, I'm pretty sure. Where are they at? Okay, good. Let's send all these fighters into Western Africa, though. We have plenty of fuel. We have almost, we have tons and tons of fuel. We're pushing still in Central America, looking to a different front now. Let's advance here. Be more aggressive, please, in your battle plans. I beg of you, yeah, be more aggressive. Just advance. Let's also make the 11th Army advancing in Central America more aggressive in executing their battle plans. They should overwhelm anything when given enough time here. And we're going to eventually push up from Guatemala, well, up from Central America into the United Mexican States, and then take on the factions of the Second American Civil War, which are the United States of America, the Combined Syndicates of America, and the Pacific States of America. And we should be there shortly. And let me get rid of this naval invasion order. Never mind. Central America has capitulated. Pass. Take all their provinces, though. And take all the states. Done. We're going to get rid of this naval invasion order here. That's not really... Get rid of this naval invasion order here, because it's not really relevant. We don't need it no more. Let's also move the ships we have in this area patrolling, because they don't really have a purpose since we took over Central America. And so, let's get these divisions of the, I don't know, let's merge together the 20th Army with the 11th Army. Even though that commander will have more divisions to do, than he will need to have, it's just easier to organize in advance with one army instead of two in the region. And now, let's have these units set up and just throw them at the United Mexican States and push up to Texas. There we are. So, they're getting the position. All that stuff. We sunk some ships in the Caribbean. We have tons of naval bombers there. Yemen has capitulated. Good. Take all states. And we're done in Yemen. So, Arabia is fully under control. Fully under the control of the Sultan of Mankind now. Let's relocate the 12th Army to Ethiopia, where they will be used to try and defeat the remnants of the Ethiopian Army that are just the Abyssinian Empire Army that is just holding out in the capital. More divisions are available. Let's send these guys up to, I don't know, actually. Is that naval invasion settled here yet? Nearly. They're almost done. Just gotta overwhelm everything. And how is the air support going here in West Africa? Can we drop the nuclear bomb yet? Please. There, detonate now. Detonate in the Gold Coast region. Detonate in Togoland. And it's gonna, let's just use our whole supply of nuclear bombs for this offensive in West Africa. And by doing this, I hope we will be able to push more into Deutsch Middle Africa and into Nigeria. And that will be done. So, all the nukes have been deployed. Wait for the boom. Should be pretty soon. There we are. The bombs have fallen in West Africa. And we'll start pushing forward. Atomic bombing of French Sudan. And this event here says we will do whatever is necessary to protect the human people. And we're going to, we're going to just advance like crazy now hopefully because the German colonial forces will struggle to deal with the aftermath of that nuclear of that huge nuclear detonation and we're advancing now in the Togoland let's cut these troops off here and encircle this whole force 
and destroy their troops once they're encircled, and that should deprive the Germans of any major means of resistance in Africa, I hope. And how is everything going in Russia? We're still trying to advance there somewhat. Deutsche Middle Africa has capitulated. Or was that Deutsche West Africa? Let me see here. I don't know. Maybe it was Deutsche West Africa. They... Yeah, they just got overwhelmed. How's the push here going? Advance here, please. Just execute the order. Be aggressive. Aggressively execute the battle plan. Let's do it that way. We may have to nuclear... May have to deploy some nuclear bombs in Ethiopia. It may come down to that. I'm not sure. They're still standing after we're done with Middle Africa. We'll see. And these divisions here are going to be destroyed. They're just encircled. And they're going to be gone. So that's good. Making good progress now. Since that nuclear detonation has helped us out. Take this area here. They belong to Deutsche West Africa. We're pushing some troops in Hosseland. Hoping to overwhelm that. Let's take out these enemy troops here that are encircled. And the... The defensive lines in West Africa belonging to the enemies of the Sultanate of Mankind have basically collapsed. Meanwhile, in Mexico, we're getting pretty close to Mexico City. And the United Mexican States at this time are busy fighting all of the, well, the majority of the factions of the Second American Civil War. So we're not really facing them at their full strength. And that's too, that's going to be an advantage for us. We can just deploy tons of troops there. Let's send these troops over to the 23rd Army, who is advancing into Asia and Russia is just holding out so well it's crazy it's impressive really follow Mexico City and that is good for us and let's destroy these troops in France who are basically going to be encircled in Calais destroy them and that will be that threat out of the way House of Land has capitulated good pass 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 take all their states we didn't even need to skip it we didn't even need to pass that much it was only 13 war score. Now we're going to continue pushing more into West Africa. 14th Army advances. Let's merge the 14th Army with the... I don't know. I don't want to do that just yet. But advance there. Who can we declare war on? Crete? Oh yeah, we need to invade Crete. I'm saving Crete for last. Or maybe not. We'll just handle them at some point. And in West Africa we're still having problems with the Ethiopians. Let's actually just get this over with with them. Let's move these planes we have here out of West Africa. Out of, yeah, send them over here to East Africa and get ready to drop a nuclear bomb on the Ethiopian defenses. Peace conference is over. The United Mexican States and the Pacific States of America peaced out, I guess, due to how fast we're advancing into, into Mexico. And our planes have been set up here in, well, in where? In the Horn of Africa, and we need to use them for nuclear detonation purposes. Let's move some planes around so this airbase isn't as crowded. Moon to Djibouti, that's done. Now let's deploy some nuclear bombs here in Abbas, whatever. So we're dropping it on the Ethiopian capital. Bomb is detonated. Let's begin an all-out advance now. Overwhelm those troops there and end this war with Ethiopia. That is the aim, ultimately. And the troops are just having problems advancing. Very annoying. My goodness, guys. And we're going to connect our lines. It looks like our troops in West Africa are going to end up meeting up with our units in East Africa. Well, Central, whatever. Yeah, they'll be connecting together now. We'll just make one unified front line and push onward, maybe? I don't know. Let's now, at this point, merge. The Abyssinian Empire is capitulated. The nuclear bomb did it for sure. Their capital fell after being hit with a nuke. So, take out the states of Somalia, Abyssinian, Abyssinian Empire in turn, and we're slowly but surely taking over to all of Africa. We just now need to get now, well, we need to make our way into Central Africa, then into Southern Africa, and that's gonna be fun. So let's move the 12th Army here and begin advancing more into the Congo and into Cameroon. Get that done. And, yeah, so that's going to be starting now with that offensive for that force. Russia is just, wow. I guess because our divisions were just spread out over such a large front line, I don't know. But let's take, what is this, take Murmansk for the Sultan of Mankind. Advance here, that's going to be done. And try to drive out these Russian troops up here. 
So we're making a lot of gains right now. We still have plenty of places left to conquer, but we will be done, I will say, with this playthrough. I say, I want to estimate and say part 30 something, probably. I think that's a fair estimate for how much longer this playthrough will take, maybe. But I'm going to end part 25 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. You can check out the mod in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.